How you going, Steve? Good. I think we're going to have to edit this video into yeah. about mm -hmm. six videos, mate. And when we've gone three hours, uh, yeah. mate, the information that's coming out is pretty damn scary. And I'm going to tell you now, we need a complete lesson with Crown how to do what he's done with that paperwork. And it needs to be a lesson that six of us or eight of us or ten of us get recorded and do it. And the yeah. paperwork's there and we all do it. Yeah. Right? And we do it under his instruction and we... we, we we talk about what we're thinking and what we're doing and we get it on a video and we get it out to all these little people. All right. That's yeah. the first thing. Also Second thing. Wonderful to hear Dylan tonight. Um, didn't have much of a chance to finish off with him, but um, you know, we've got a treaty. Uh, Crown said it as well. We've got to treaty has to treaty with our locals. So go find your locals. Uh, Digi's got a map of all the, um, um, of all the uh, the original um, people in Australia and their tribe areas, find your local tribe area, find your local lawman, go treat you with them, go and get a bit of paper off him, whatever you need. All right, that gives it's us safety as well. It's only got to be verbal, Andy. Verbal's fine as long as there's so a you witness. You need you, you need a witness. You know who you need a with, you need a from. witness. You need a witness no, you just in case witness. he's not there. What if he's not there? Well, it's going to be more than one person. Well, then you've got a witness if it's more than one person. And persons are dead, so there'll be a few crowns there you as well, I hope, Stephen. Mean. You know yeah, what okay. I mean. All right, we're going to call this meeting to an end. It's like Yeah, yeah well, uh, what I'll do, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll mute you now because I've got yeah. a few people have had, they want to ask a question. I, I have know. more to say, but I will say it to you later on the phone, Stephen. Other people don't need to hear it. I love you, brother. No worries, Frank. Thanks very much. Matrix Crown, unmute yourself, please. Go ahead. Uh, you just muted yourself, I think. <clears throat> if you can unmute, there you go. Okay, so can you hear me? Yes. Uh, great. Hi, everyone. Fantastic. Good evening. And thanks, Crown, for all that incredible information. I'm getting a bit of an overload this week. We had an incredible meeting on Monday night with Jason. Um, I think we had about 34 people there mm. and <laughs> I spent the last couple of days writing up what he was speaking about. So quite uh, Can I have a copy of what you wrote, please, uh, mate? Because I haven't had time to write it up. I've been working. How did you get that? Or in a coin. <laughs> I just want to, you know, I need to need to come in occasionally, Steve. Um, night, please, Andy. could you put that in writing um, and put it in an email to the Common Law Court site so that we can all share it, please? because I haven't had time to watch it again, and I've got to say, I could probably read it better on paper. Yeah, look, I'm happy to do that. It's, uh, it's Thank it's, you, it's, brother. It's taken me about six months to write this document from all the different meetings that Jason's been at, and I've, I've taped them and then put them into this document. Wow. Um, awesome. He's got a copy of it, but he's only got would Mac you put that on a, Would you put that on a blog onto the a AUSCLC website, please? We're looking to fill mm. the website because that helps us get found. Now, we've, we've, we've jumped a massive 50% tonight. So Look, I'd, I'd, have to, is, I'd have to get okay that with Stephen Crown as well because... Absolutely. You know, Look, at the end of the day, let's Crown share, it with who you, share it with who you're happy with sharing with it first and get them to check it and then remove what you need to remove. But a log of what we've done on our website would help us immensely because the more words that we have on there, the more we get seen, the more content yes. we add, the better we do. Now, if you believe in our court or the people's court, I don't know, our court, if it's our court, then it's our yeah. local court. We'll get there, we're looking for. Well, I gotta get through some more people, man. Yeah, no worries. And, 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 can I just invite anyone to Monday night? You just get in touch with Crown Friedman. That's with a D at can gmail you a, Can you put a link in the chat? I'm I'm only on my phone. I, I don't know how to do that, but if oh, Simon's okay. still on, maybe he could do it for me, or or John could do it. Yep. No worries. You, you were talking earlier about uh, that guy who got arrested in front of that court. There's a thing called the uh, Free Access to Court Act. Of, 90, of 1400. It's obviously a very early British Act, uh, but I believe it's still valid. Oh, look, there was nothing valid about what they did to him. 
No, there's not. And, and you can't be trespassed from a public place. And Obviously if you are, you've got, to, you've got to have three warnings. No, no, you can just bundle them up and take them away. Well, they can. But... And then threaten them and that's whatever. And uh... See, that, That's a trespass on the Crown. And if you come yep. back, at, they've, they've arrested the person. But if mm. you come back at them with a counterclaim for a, a trespass on the Crown and a civil tort, and no one's done this yet, and that's why I'm studying tort law, because I want to be the first. But... Um, Okay, there's a little, there's a fellow in, in there that you need to talk to. His name's Agent Swift, and you'll okay. find that he, he knows he knows intimately the details of the person that was arrested, intimately, and even not the person. Okay, if you get my drift. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, uh, he can find me on on Facebook at under Law Nerd David Bell at Law Nerd. He's just um, revealed himself. That's the name at the end of the garden. So that's Secret Squirrel, Agent Swift. So he was the one who was arrested. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Off the footpath because he was going to be a witness and they didn't want him to be a witness, so they arrested him. Oh, look, I've heard of some dreadful things happening, even grabbing uh, legal representation, going into a courtroom, arresting yeah. them and trying them in a court with no one in there but a magistrate. Yeah. You know? yeah. So we're, dealing we're, with we're just dealing with criminals. Yeah, we definitely are. So thanks very much. And what's your name? My name, Dave Bell. Thanks. Or just Dave would be fine. Thanks very much, Dave. Because I can't tell from Matrix Crown. Oh, so, yeah, no, I've changed it. I've just changed it. I thought I'd better join the group. It's all good, mate. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, I'll move along to Vicky. And I'll email you and be in touch. Thank Excuse you very me. much. I'll send you the updated version. Of the document. Okay. Cheers. Thanks very much, Dave. Go ahead, Vicky. Oh, hi, I wanted to ask, first of all, um, for Josh, I'm in Perth, and I've sent in a chat to him on here, my Facebook, and I've also got a um, group here in Perth with about 1,200 people in it, a WA group, um, for all of the topics that we're discussing at the moment. Um, yeah, and also what I've put in the chat is um, there's... I don't know if anyone remembers Rick Mail, the actor, the English actor. He was Young Ones. He was in Bottom. Oh, did um, you say Rick Mail? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I've put a link in. Um, I found it recently. I've put a link in the chat to a short film that he did in 2014, which was warning, or it's, it's quite chilling now that we're watching it now, um, warning about... Um, the UN, the UN and, um, you know, obviously taking over and basically invading us on ground. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if you guys know, but on the weekend in Melbourne, the police weren't all Victorian police. No, correct. They were, um, so the UN are already here. So he was one of my favourite actors. So he made this in 2014 and within five months of him actually making this, he was dead. But mm. they said that he died of an aneurysm. But obviously now he actually stays at the end of this. Um, I've sent an excerpt of it. It's not the whole film, but I can get hold of that if anyone wants it, or you can probably get it on YouTube. And um, he actually says at the end of it, throw away your TVs. Um, and, you know, I might be dead over this. And he obviously is. Um, yeah, it's quite chilling, his prediction. Um, yeah, so there's that. And I've just got a couple of names for people if you want to kind of find out what's going on. I was brought up by my granddad to know and be very aware of a lot of this. Um, so there's an English man. He's an ex-GP. His name's Vernon Coleman. Um, he does a lot of videos, a lot on YouTube, but he's been removed from YouTube now. So now he's on, there's a new platform called Brand New Tube. Mm -hmm. But you'll find his old videos up until about two weeks ago on old YouTube. Yep. So there's Vernon Coleman, obviously David Icke, everyone's aware of him. He's come into his own nap after everyone called him crazy all his life. Um, yeah, and then the other question I wanted to ask is, with my birth certificate, because I'm, I'm hearing you guys say that your birth certificates are in capital letters. 
I've actually got an excerpt of my birth certificate because mine got a big massive blob of ink on it. So I've got the, ex the extract and mine's not actually written in capital. So will that make a difference for me to be able to go ahead and do everything that you guys are doing? If it's a birth certificate, it's your birth certificate. So it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't matter whether it's in capitals or not. It doesn't matter if it's punctuated, like mine's punctuated to make a distinction, which makes no bloody distinction anyway. Yeah. But anyway, that's a learning curve, isn't it? We can grandfather that, learn something from that. So Yeah. So yeah, if you want to check out the link, um, yeah, it's kind of yeah, um, bone chilling at the moment, knowing that we've got the UN here in Victoria. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, guys. No worries. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, now we've got apples. If you can unmute yourself. Go ahead. Oh yeah. Well, this is uh, Apple's partner, Jimmy. We're in uh, we're in Aotearoa, New Zealand. I just had a question for the Crown, but uh, all support to you guys in Aussie. We're all Anzacs here, and uh, we uh, we go through the same shit you guys are. Yeah, I think Crown may have left. Crown gone, has he? Um, sweet, that's all good. I just had a question with my birth certificate or one of my documents that um, the uh, First tests and marriages aren't releasing, but uh, that's all good. They're not, really, they're not, did you say that they're not releasing it? Yeah, there's just one document they're not releasing for me. Okay, now here in Australia, and I haven't tested it out, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, there's uh, the Information Privacy Commission, and okay. you may have a version of it in New Zealand, so IPC. And okay. from what I understand from talking to them, I was in their office, is if you're requesting information from a government department, the corporation, and you can't get a response, you pay them a fee of like it was $38 or something, and then they write a letter asking why they wouldn't release the information with the, okay. with the results supposing to be that they get the information. Okay, is thank you, Crown Stephen. Now, has anybody got any questions too about that for Crown? Um, if you can put them into the... Uh, if you put them into the website, and we can get them to to him, or we can make that a foundation uh, for a future meeting, so that we can address those things straight up. Because he's been wiped off Facebook, hasn't he? I beg your pardon. I think his Facebook page is gone, hasn't it? Yes, it has. But um, the, where we post these hasn't gone as yet. And if you're searching on YouTube, just look up the channel Brain Damage. Okay. So, 